you know, um, growing up, my mom was a huge influence in my life. My sisters were a super huge influence in my life. And um, I've seen my sisters go through a lot. I've seen my mom go through a lot. Well, all three of my sisters are single mothers. So they've all struggled and, and um, I know there's a lot of women out there, especially in our day and age, that are struggling and going through a lot. And I always wanted to find a way to just kind of give back. People get so caught up in being cool. People get so caught up in that lifestyle of the hood lifestyle, the gangster lifestyle, that they don't realize that they're just hurting themselves in the long run because that's gonna only lead to two things. It's gonna lead to death or it's gonna lead to jail. Which road do you wanna take? We can sit there and look at a social media screen all day and watch videos, but we need that time to ourselves. Because it almost makes people, watching everybody else on, on TV and watching everybody on social media, it almost makes you wanna become that person or wanna live that lifestyle. I think a lot of people in life look for love through other people and, and they reflect that back on themselves. So, and that's not where love comes from. Nobody can make you love yourself. You have to love who you are as a person and find the genuineness within yourself. And it takes time. It's not something that happens overnight. It, it took me a very long time to actually love who I was as a person, accept who I was, and not care what people thought about me. Because for the longest time, I would just care about what I was wearing, wearing the nicest shoes, or how I acted. And, and, and over time, I just realized how immature that was. <laughs>